Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, actually. Uh, heading over to a buddy's house to check out a bunch of toys and stuff. So I don't know what I'm gonna get, if I'm gonna get anything, but it's stuff he's had for a while and he wants to show me. It's a lot of carded stuff. Um, he said, I think there's turtles and Batman stuff, G.I. Joe, uh, all sorts of stuff. I'll try to show you some video. I don't think he'll mind. Um, so stay tuned, check out some really cool stuff. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, share if you can. I'll catch you on the flip side. Deuces. The face sculpt in that is really cool, actually. From Japan. See, I had that one. Uh, or I actually have that one. Yeah. Now. Because that was when they came out in, like, 95. Yeah. Uh, that's a nice one. A little crushed. Yeah, it's fine. Overall, it's nice with that slot car down there. So here. Yeah. Seal! So, I love the old Toys R Us tags. I'm not going to get over that. So, um... Spawn. Some Rizzo Spawn. Yeah, dude, ugh, I got boxes of this. Like, Spawn stuff, like nobody. The Kiss figures, yeah. Those I are cool. Have probably three or four sets of these. <laughs> to have uh, right. uh, Femke sign. Because she was, she was a Phoenix. It's just funny. At, at the time, super rare. Yep. Catwoman paper doll. Yeah, then I got these of the Wizard of Oz. Her yeah. face, her poor face is squished. Filled. That's cool. <sighs> That's something you see every day. Hmm? The uh, these. Flash sword ship and Garrix sword ship. Definitely a cool piece. The old KB tags. Rhino. Tanka Taka Shim. I can't say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are cool. Benny's. That's dope. No. Tiger Electronics. Mutant armor. Mr. Sinister. It just says Sinister on that. That's funny. Mystique. The card says Sinister, not Mr. Sinister. This is the end when they were trying to get rid of like all their overstock. They put them on like these generic cards. I still actually think I have my original Peter Parker when I was a kid. So, multiples. And then, cool. Blade. Cards beat up, but still super, super cool. Yeah, Motu. He was the one oh. from the movie. Oh. Definitely something cool. I don't think I've ever seen. That'd be cool if you could get Benny the Cab. But action figures. So there was four of them. And then Benny the Cab. Oh, so you have all four. Please. All right. What's going on, guys? Uh, I want to show you this awesome pickup that I got from a buddy of mine um, myself and Mike were able to go to my friend's house and pick stuff that he's been saving for years um, a lot of x-men batman stuff uh, all kinds of randomness uh, you guys saw in the video some of it it was just very hard to kind of go through and take video but still you kind of get the gist of what was there he's still got a bunch of it and 
through time, maybe I'll get more. But this is what I picked up the first time around. Uh, so let's dive right in. Uh, first off, I picked up all these turtles. Uh, there's seven of them here. Three, six, seven. There's two Razars, which are really cool. Um, they're all unpunched and in super, super nice shape. Um, I love turtles, but I'm not keeping any of these. So these will be uh, set up at the show this weekend that I'm doing in Connecticut. And then I'm doing one in Taunton. So make sure you guys check out my social media for that on Spruch underscore GH on Instagram. I'll be posting that on my Facebook page. Um, and then the rest of this is what you saw in the dig. Uh, just some random cool stuff like a James Bond tarot card game. <laughs> Never seen or heard of that. That's going to be a gift to a buddy of mine. Uh, the one lone random wrestling figure he had, uh, I picked that guy up, which was kind of neat. That's like a $50 figure, so that'll be available. Um, I'm a big fan of reference guides, and he had this one, which I wish he had more, but he had some like the toy collecting guides. Let's see if I can do this. The toy reviews, which is really cool with the G.I. Joe on the front. Um, so those I'll be hanging on to. Not a ton of this I'm hanging on to because some of it's duplicates for me or it's just stuff that I don't need. Um, but I'll kind of let you know as I kind of go through it. Uh, along with the turtle stuff, there was a couple turtle watches. The Splinter watch is still sealed, which is cool. Uh, the Michelangelo watch, the bubble basically fell off. And then the wrist strap, as you can see there, broke. So, But aside from that, it's still in nice shape. So that's cool. Uh, his wife used to get him a ton of mail-away stuff. So I got a bunch of mail-aways, um, like this watch here, which let's see if I can take this out with one hand. I can't, so hang on. All right, so this is really cool. It's a Doug watch, and I think you can see it. There's like a hologram on the front of Doug. These are never worn, never used. They were still in the plastic. So stuff like that's really cool. They're not very expensive. They're like 10 to $15 a piece. Uh, I got two Power Rangers ones, the Red Ranger, and then I think it flips up or out or something i don't know but i got a couple of those uh so those were cool mail aways the balzac earth balloon ball so this is kind of like a like a soft beach type ball thing this i got for my buddy um so this will be going to him just some random micro machines that are from captain crunch that was kind of cool and the micro machines themselves i don't think say anything special on them but it was just kind of a cool mail away um the waldo and his dog were a mail away which is cool you don't see the dog very often i don't remember what the dog's name is so if you guys remember let me know the energizer bunny of course he's staying with me i love the energizer bunny um that was a neat one these were really cool there's two of them one still actually factory sealed it's a magnifying glass of darkwing duck there's that so 90s kids rejoice i used to love a darkwing duck uh, and then this was kind of an oddball thing. Let's see if I can get this one. There we go. Um, a Bonkers flashlight. Do you guys remember Bonkers? The cat that was a cop. Kind of a silly show. So that's that's neat for sure. You don't see stuff like that. Even though it's not really expensive, it's not something you see. Uh, that goes with the Doug watch. Want to keep that together. Uh, another mail away were these two. They were from Captain Crunch. Uh, Pokemon pocket cameras. Um, I meant to open one of these ahead of time. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. This seems to be the ongoing trend of opening. There we go. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Again, never used. So has the paperwork inside. Little Pikachu on front. Little little camera with like a film camera. So definitely neat for sure. Um, just the, they don't do mail aways anymore they just it's just not it's a dead art that's really cool uh let's see some other random stuff i got these four roger rabbit figures when we were looking at them in the box he actually thought they were bendies too but they're not they're actually like action figures which is really cool so there's only four of them plus benny the car he only had the four figures um, so that was cool. Definitely glad to have these. Big Roger Rabbit fan. Again, not something that's really worth money. The whole set goes for like 25 bucks, uh, not including Benny. So, I mean, definitely that's something I'm going to hang on to for now is those four. Um, 
You guys all know I'm a big Robocop fan. He had two of these. One of them is super discolored and his head was crushed, but I still have it. Um, they are from Japan, which is cool. Uh, he used to do a lot of work in Japan and stuff, so he has some oddball stuff that he brought home, and uh, this was one of them. So City Fighter, a.k.a. Robocop. Um, this is going to go with my Robocop collection. So that's a cool piece. I love that. And uh, to go along with the Robocop theme, uh, he gave me that one because this came off the card. But uh, I'll keep that one as well. Uh, a couple things sitting up here. The Action Hover Port, which is Back to the Future. I've passed this up a million times, but I had to get it. It also has the two cards, two cars, stapled to the back. So there's that. That's going to stay with me. I'm a big Back to the Future fan. Happy to have that. Uh, I picked up a carded Bane from him. He's got a ton of these. Um, basically because I sold my Bane. I love Bane. Bane's one of my favorite Batman characters. So I had to get him. A really cool Imperial Godzilla. I already have one, so this one is available. It'll be at the show this weekend. Uh, just super cool figure. I'm, I love the Imperial Godzillas. I remember mine from when I was a kid. If I didn't have it, I'd keep it. Uh, the Uncanny X-Men uh, Wolverine, which has the matching Wolverine card in back. This is the second release, because the first one was like an 8-back. Um, and a little more uh, uncommon. But this is really cool to have the matching card with it, too. So I'll be keeping that one in my collection. Uh, let's see. I'm going to save a couple of really cool things for last. A um, couple more carded figures. The only lone Robotech figure he had. Uh, which was Zor Prime. Again, not an expensive figure by any means, but still just seeing this stuff carded is really cool. So there was that guy, the lone... He used to be a big G.I. Joe guy like me, but he sold a lot of it years ago and randomly comes across some of it. And most of the time he tosses it my way. Uh, he came across his carded Storm Shadow. If I have this carded, it'll be available. If not, I'm going to keep it uh, in my collection. So I got to check that out. Uh, this was a cool piece. Again, the only... Motu piece he had, which was this blade carded the cards beat, um, but still it's really cool to have complete uncard. Um, it's it's a really neat piece. I was he didn't even realize he had this, um, but it was cool to find. Uh, a couple more GI Joe pieces. Random Raptor we found in a box. Uh, he was complete. I had to fix his O ring, uh, but super super nice shape. So he'll probably be in a better condition than mine. Over the years, I've never picked these up. These are the keychain G.I. Joes. There's only four of them. They came out in 1998. Uh, so there's those four. They're cheap again. Continuing on, uh, this was a cool piece to pick up. This was one of the last G.I. Joes I needed, which is the uh, 50th anniversary astronaut. He has the wrong helmet on, but I really needed it just for the space capsule because I didn't have the capsule for mine. So now I do. Um, just a couple more things. The Spider-Man pencil eraser study kit set, which is really cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not, but a uh, big fan of Spider-Man. He's been one of my favorites since I was a little kid. Uh, and I used to always get these for school every year. Maybe not this particular one, but the pencil bag and pencil, you know, kids don't really use these anymore. But that's definitely a cool piece to pick up. Couple random GI Joe things, just a couple file cards, uh, Street Fighter style. Um, so those are those. <laughs> uh, a flint watch, which is really cool. Um, not something I ever had. I don't think I'll be keeping this. I mainly collect the figures and stuff. Just a neat piece for sure. So that'll be available. Um, all right, so now the biggies. So these two are something I've always wanted in my collection. I don't really collect Marvel, X-Men, Toy Biz, any of that. Um, I just don't have the space for it. But I always wanted an inbox Sentinel or really kind of the old Toy Biz Sentinel. It was one of the big pieces as a kid. Um, that one is factory sealed. He never opened it. It's in really nice shape. The worst part is, is like you can kind of see like an indent here in the box. That's really it. Uh, a little bit of shelf wear. Nothing crazy. Uh, definitely a cool piece. Very glad to have that now. The Galactus is also one that I always come across, but he's always missing, like, one of his top head pieces or, like, the skirt or he never has the drill. So that's a cool piece. Uh, that is still factory sealed. The the um, tape on top is popped, but it's unused, never been taken out of the box. So that was an awesome find as well. 
I'm telling you, he had everything toy biz, tons and tons. Uh, these last couple of things are really oddball. The Flying Superman, uh, I believe, is an international piece from New Toys. He's made out of a plastic. The box is, I'd say, like a 5 out of 10. Um, but the figure itself is really cool. I don't want to take it out. It's super fragile. Um, it's just a really nice piece, and I'm not keeping that. That will be available for sale. It's not something you see come up very often. Um, but that's a really <laughs> awesome piece. And then these last two pieces, uh, Defenders of the Earth, they're both complete in the box. The boxes are in okay condition. That one's uh, worse than the other one. But everything's still in the box. They were never played with. They were never taken out. All the inside stuff is sealed. Um, so my assumption is, he doesn't remember, but that they were never like opened in the tape just over time or they got crushed from other things sitting on me so these boxes were in much better shape when he put them away but you know time does crappy things to stuff super uncommon when i was trying to do any research on these i didn't find any boxed online but basically as you can see it's just kind of a spaceship that's also like a sword for kids to play with um really neat pieces for sure again not super super expensive um but really uncommon rare pieces that I had to have just because, you know, it's not something you see. Um, those will be available for sale because I don't collect the Defenders of the Earth line, even though it'd be pretty easy to complete. The figures you see all the time, but the vehicles not so much. So, but that's all of it, guys. So thanks for watching. I know this is a really long recap, but I wanted you guys to see what I found. Uh, a lot of this is going to be available for sale, so i got to tag it and get it ready my last two shows of this weekend. And then I'm going to try to get as much online as I can for the holiday season. So make sure you guys check that out as well. If you ever see anything I have in these videos or on Instagram or whatever that you want, hit me up via Instagram. Um, I'm more than happy to ship 90% of the stuff that I have. Uh, so certain things I don't want to ship, but... We can figure that out. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it as always. Share the video. Smash that like button. Comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this awesome channel. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Later.